What is going on guys, Jack95 Gaming here, back with episode number 9 of my Inter Milan career mode. As you can see guys, we kick off the episode with Norway offering us an international management offer and we do kind of reject that one. And we also um, scat Philippe Coutinho guys, um, looking to bring him back into Milan. It could be a fantastic signing for us, um, looking to replace him with Hernanes. So that could be a good one coming up in January, we'll have to try for that one. But we kick off in our first game now guys, against Empoli um, at the San Siro. It's going to be a big game for us, obviously, um, actually not a big game, but we do play our full strength side. Um, because it is before the international break. And obviously we haven't got an international team. So it's no work for us. We have two weeks off basically. Uh, maybe looking to scatter a couple more players too. But anyway guys. We have a look at the Empoli team. Uh, no real players that um, like just shout out at you as um, like players that can cause us trouble. But we need to be on top of our game obviously. Because upsets can happen in football as it is a weird game. Into the second minute though guys. Guan picks up the ball here. Takes a shot from range. And it's a great save from the goalkeeper actually to be fair. Um, we could have took an early league there. The company and obviously in... Tons of form at the moment and bags of confidence and you know it, you would expect him to score from that um, angle guys because he is a really good player but unfortunately the game does remain nil nil but into the 17th minute now guys good football here from Empoli pick up the ball here with Tavano who um, gets tackled out outside the box and does win a free kick for his side here so this is going to be an interesting one poor um, tackle there from our captain Ranocchio he really should be doing better there. But let's get in to the um, the free kick there, guys. Tavano steps up, takes a free kick. It's blocked. Falls to the, um, their man, but it's a good save from Begovic in the end. Moving to the half now, Mark now, guys. Goran picks up the ball here, plays it into Akadi, um, who sees Yilmaz, who then sees Memphis Depay get ahead of his man. He's through on goal, guys. Half now gone, and we do take the lead in this one at the San Siro, guys. And that's Memphis Depay's first ever goal for Inter Milan. So I'm very proud of him getting that goal. Obviously, the Dutchman, um, a very young and fresh talent for us. That's going to be looking to be at the club for a very long time. We're not to let him go for anyone or anything you know he's a utility not a utility player he's a future star of this team and like uh, along with him Akadi and many other players in the team like Tede um Tede they're looking to be um players that are going to spend their career at Inter Milan most of their career and obviously they are fantastic players I'm really looking forward um to seeing what they can do in the years to come so um, the pay does get that goal guys and the game is 1-0 and it's a good um, way to get your first ever goal in San Siro in front of the home fans so well played there for Memphis into the 41st minute now guys Yulmaz picks up the ball plays the ball into Kuzmanovic guys the man that's coming for Kovacic and he's actually done a fantastic job there guys got past his man and actually just puts that just over the bar there so unfortunately not to double our lead but it's a good shot and it's um, very confidence raising for us to see this but anyway in the 45th minute guys um, Guarin picks up the ball here from a, a free kick he plays it into the path of Mario Riccardi. Turns his man there, guys. It, too easily for um, my liking. Cuts back inside. Run away from goal. Plays it into Yilmaz. Takes the shot, guys. And the shot. Um, I mean, takes the um, extra touch, guys. Then the shot. And it's a good save. Moving into the second half now, guys. It is Empoli that will get the first chance of this second half, too. Uh, on the ball here with Valle de Flori. Uh, picks up the ball, chips it beautifully into there, man. He takes the shot, and Begovic is obviously not going to um, let that go in from his near post. It's a good save. But, guys, we do pick up the ball here from a break from a corner, I do believe. Yilmaz of the ball. He's run away from his man. The man dives him, and, you know, once you dive in, you're never going to get past your man if you miss that ball. And he did. And uh, Yilmaz just absolutely just hits the floor there, guys. You know, he felt the tug on his back, and he's going to hit the floor. Maybe a soft penalty was a giveaway. I think it was a soft penalty, but a penalty nevertheless. And it is... In our favour, which I'm happy with. Um, you could argue that maybe it was outside the box at first, but he did go down inside the box, and it is a penalty to Inter Milan. And Mauro Riccardi will step up, guys, with his great penalties that he does have, and looking like he's going to put this one into the back of the net for us. So let's um, wait and see. It is Riccardi that steps up eventually. 60 minutes, half an hour left to go. Can we double our lead? Of course we do, guys. Far left-hand corner. Puts that into the back of the net. Sends the keeper the wrong way. And the Argentine gets his goal. Um, I believe it's his first goal in the Copa um, Nacional. I'm not too sure yet. But, you know, it's a great penalty spot kit there from our big man there, Akadi up front. And, you know, like I said, him and Memphis, the two young talents at the team, really were um, showing their their skill and their hard work there. Obviously, we've got Brian Cresser that we've rung in and all that could be the future of Inter Milan, obviously, but Morales is still young, so it's going to be a, a very interesting couple of years coming up for Inter Milan. And performing like this, guys, it is interesting to see how we do. Um, Akali gets the goal, guys, 57 minutes in, and it is 2-0 to us. Um, we do make a substitution. We actually do bring on, speaking of um, Carrasco and Tay there, we do bring them on, and Ricciardo Alvarez comes on for Ricardi. So, 
Very interesting um, substitution there. See if I can get us to win. But into the 82nd minute, we do win the ball back here. Ricardo Alvarez plays in um, Burak Yilmaz, who then plays it into Tede and tons of space here, guys. Takes the ball down, takes the shot, and uh, he should be finishing that, but unfortunately, he doesn't. It does fall back into Ricardo Alvarez, plays it into Memphis Depay, uh, guys. Cuts inside the, the man. Just everyone's just diving in. They can't get to it, and then he really should be finishing that to pay. He done all the hard work there. The easy bit was getting that shot on target and hopefully scoring, but he doesn't. Moving to the 90th minute now, guys. Carrasco picks up the ball, plays it into Freddy Guarin. And Carrasco's blistering pace to that, guys. Once he's gone, you ain't catching him. And the Chilean is running forward here, guys. Um, he takes it inside. Uh, everyone dives in. It leaves him with tons of space there to just take the shot. And as long as he's hitting target, guys, he's going to score. That's what the pace should have done a while ago. But he didn't. But um, Brian Carrasco gets the chance and he snaps it up with ease, guys. Makes it 3 0, guys. And makes it. It is, it is an easy victory for us, you know. We played very well, and it's a very good win from an Inter point of view. You know, I'm very happy with the team, and I'm really glad we picked up the three points in this. Well, not the three points. We actually advanced into the next round. We were a very um, convincing win, so I'm very happy there. And I'm very happy with this Inter, Inter team as a whole. They're just gelling together. They're playing fluid football and fluent, and it's just so good to see your team doing that. So the game... Is now wrapped up, guys, in the 94th minute, 3-0, and we do get the win there. Juan Jesus off celebrate at the San Siro, obviously. A Cardi penalty, penalty to pay, and Carrasco all have three youngins on the score sheet. Um, Luca Castellazzi comes in to us and says he wants to play the next game. It's frustrating sitting on the sidelines. He's not going to get a chance to play, guys. USA then come in and say, um, do you want to be our manager? And I'll basically just give a blunt answer, as in no. And... It is a good tempting offer, but we're not going to take it. Anyway, guys, we do go into our next game against Bologna. Um, Bologna? I really don't know. I know that um, Diamante used to play from a former hammer. But we do play the team that did um, beat Empoli in the Cup 3-0. And obviously, away from home, we need to look into be performing in these kind of games. So hopefully we can. As you can see, let's show a point ahead of us, guys. And Milan, um, two points behind us. With um, obviously we got a game in hand of them, so that's very good for us to see. Not really any players I know in that, that Bonanga squad. Um, yeah, no one to be honest, guys. But they play the same formation as us, and this could be a very good game. Anyway, into the third minute, fourth minute now, guys. Akali picks up the ball here, driving himself at goal, cuts inside, plays it into Kevin Rouse, who takes the shot. Great save, but it does fall to Hernandez. You put your money on scoring there, guys. But he just misses the number 88. The man, it's just coming from Lazio, misses that, and that's very disappointing from a um, inter point of view. He really should be one nil up there. Don't know what he was doing, but it's a dreadful miss. Another, um, anyways, but Kovacic does come back into the team now, guys. Um, he's just he's come back from injury, which is good to see. It's good to see him back. But the pay picks up the ball here, guys. Great bit of work from him. Great bit of skill. Produces a save from the goalkeeper, but only as far he saves only as far as Muro Riccardi, who does put the ball into the back end there and makes it one 0 for Inter Milan. And like I said, guys, if you just have an episode of either the Yilmaz show or the Riccardi show or the Hernanes or Guaran show at the moment, because them four players are looking so deadly for us. But the pay really playing well. He's really stepping up, and he really caused a lot of problems in leading up to that goal. If he wasn't um involved in that goal it wouldn't have been a goal in my opinion um his individual work really did um, open up um Belenga and as a result of that we've scored the goal so well played for in the Milan there getting the goal I'm so happy for us to um, be doing that so well played there and Akadi gets his sixth goal in the Serie A this season 11 minutes in moving into the 15th minute now guys Belenga pick up the ball here um good little football from him plays it out wide into their man there Cuts inside. He's going to put the cross in the free header there from their man. And it's going to go any other way in but a goal, guys. It's going to result in a goal no matter what. You put, you, got, you leave a man with a free header there. He's going to always finish that. And Belenga find themselves back on terms, guys. Just a couple of minutes after us scoring that um, easy tapping goal, I would say. And the pressure's back on us now. You know, we need to be performing in these kind of games. And it's very disappointing not being able to perform. Um, the cross comes in, poor defending. I mean, that's the flaws of having three at the back. But, you know, we have to take that risk because packing the midfield really does seem to be working for us. Into the 70 minute now, guys. A couple of minutes later, Barras picks up the ball. Hernandez makes that run. Um, but it does actually fall to Yilmaz, who gets past his man there. Um, again, poor defending for Belenga. Falls to Yilmaz. And he really should be finishing at the Turkish International. Unfortunately, it just goes over the bar and Belenga are let off. Into the 31st minute now, guys. Good football from Belenga yet again. He cuts inside their player. Taking the shot. Um, Begovic kind of found himself like a sitting duck really in no man's land but he does get the shot away and it's a good save there is it a 39th minute now guys a Nokia header just goes wide and we um are str struggling to get the lead in this one into the second half now guys Belenga do get the first chance again it's a very even game in my opinion but Garcia picks up the ball here puts the ball into Mascarland daily and he misses that um, unfortunately it's the 63rd minute now guys it is a free kick to Belenga watch this ball comes in Good header away from Renokia. 
falls into the path of Mio Riccardi. Takes a good little footwork there from the um, Argentine, plays it into Yilmaz, and then plays it into Memphis Depay in tons of space, and that's just how a counter-attack can work in our favour, guys. He takes the ball down, puts it into the bottom corner, and we do take the lead, guys, 2-1 in this one, and it is Memphis Depay, the man that I have been bigging up, and it maybe is the Memphis Depay show in this one there, guys. Um, he's been playing so well, he's got the goals to prove it, and he's, the individual talent he's shown in this episode has been um, astonishing. And that counter-attack was just so good to see from the team. Obviously being pinned back from a free kick in our own half. It looking like we we're going to concede. But it's so good how Akali can pick up the ball. Play it into his strike Parker, partner Yilmaz. Who then just puts it into the play. With using his blistering pace. To break through the middle of the team. Get himself through a goal. And obviously put a finish away like that. Fantastic to see from our main man Memphis Depay. Getting on the score sheet. And putting us back ahead in this game 2-1. Always good to see. And that's his first goal now in the Serie A. So two goals in this episode for um, Memphis Depay. And well played to him. It's a 77th minute now, guys. We do bring on Nakatomo Taylor and Brian Carrasco again for Yulmaz, Hernanes and Memphis Depay. Moving into the 84th minute, uh, we pick up the ball with Kovacic, who's having a actually really good game coming back from injury. It's good to see him back. Uh, plays it into Brett Yulmaz, cuts inside now, guys. Running away from um, goal and then cuts back inside, takes the shot, and it's a great block there to prevent us getting the goal. And I believe, guys, that is how the game is. No, it's not. Actually, we do win a, um, a corner in this one. So, 86 minutes, we put the ball in. Falls to Yilmaz, and it's a great save. And that, guys, is how the episode's going to end. So we pick up the three vital points. 2-1 win away from home from Blengar. Very tough one. And anyway, guys, it's going to bring an end to this episode. I'm going to leave you looking at the squad report to see how the players have um, advanced this year. And, um, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out and does help my channel grow. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.